Hi everybody, it's time for another one of my uh, food and drink review videos on my gaming channel because, of course, food and drink are essential for having a healthy mind and body so we can pursue our gaming hobbies to the best of our potential. And so what we've got here is a... That, that, was, quite a good, that was quite a good selling statement, wasn't it, for things that probably aren't that healthy. Uh, this is a Starbucks Cafe Latte cold coffee drink um, in its seasonal garb, I think normally it would kind of look look like look like that. Um, and you'll know I'm a big fan of the Starbucks double espresso in a can. I think that is probably the king of cold coffees in a drink. But I don't think I've done a video about this one yet. This one has, I think, it has a little bit more volume than the uh, double espresso in a can. Definitely has a lot less milk in it. Um, it's a lot less stronger being being, being a latte. So um, let's dive in. This one's nice and chilled. As you can see, it comes with a handy little straw. Oh. See, I would have to say that is very, very nice. I think that Starbucks get their ready-to-drink cold coffees spot on. They really do, compared to all the other companies. All the other companies, although they're okay, the, they tend to be like the Costa ones and um, the, the, all the other ones that you see in the, the, the chiller cabinet in the supermarket in your local shop. They tend to be a little bit watery. They taste too much like a cold coffee, you know, a, a hot coffee that's been left on the side, say, and has been left to go cold. Uh, and then you and you drink it, and I'm not fond of that style of cold coffee. I like my cold coffees to be a little bit, well, quite a lot milky, to be honest, um, almost like a coffee milkshake. And this is definitely what this tastes like now. Oh, I see that is very nice. That is very very nice indeed. That, yeah, the flavour of that is definitely up there. With um, with the double espresso, obviously it doesn't quite have the kick and the punch of the double espresso, um, but that is uh, that is a very pleasant drink to sip on. Where often you'll find as well with these cold coffees, the first sip can obviously often be quite pleasant, but then, and then as you get get on, you get a bit of an aftertaste, and you get that you get that cold coffee that's been left on the side too long kind of flavour. But this one doesn't. This is something you could definitely sip on and uh, taste very nice indeed. So there we go. That's the Starbucks Cafe Latte ready to drink chilled cold coffee in a uh, plastic cup. Um, very, very nice indeed. Highly recommended, as is the Starbucks Espresso. And uh, I think they... I, well, they do do a whole range of these, actually. So, are we on their website here? Can I... I'll have to review these ones. There's the Almond Ice Coffee. I don't think I've seen that in the UK. It's chocolate. See, some of these might not be in the UK. There's a chocolate flavour one. Oh, God. Chocolate notes and creamy milk. Oh. <laughs> Skinny latte. No, we don't want that. A caramel macchiato. Oh. And uh, cold... Ah, right, a cold cappuccino. I'll have to track these down. In the UK, really, this is the one in that sort of format that you see in shops the most, along with the double espresso. Anyway, though, that's enough from me. What do you think about cold coffees? Do you enjoy them? Do they make your mind sharper for those long gaming sessions? If so, put your comments down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much, and I will see you again soon.